having attractive work sample is something that will significantly increase your chances of getting hired as a virtual assistant. And since you are a beginner to data entry, that can be very challenging. So in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use ChatGPT to generate some sample Excel data and how you can use the Excel data to create attractive samples that you can add to your portfolio and you can also share with a potential client. So as a complete beginner to data entry, this video is going to help you get the data that you need to start practicing your skills to be better at using Excel and also create attractive work sample that is going to increase your chances of getting hired. Okay, without any more delay, let's just get started. Okay, now I am in ChatGPT and you just need to ch type chatgpt.com to be able to access ChatGPT. If you have never used it before, you can simply create an account, it's free, and you can start working with it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write a prompt to give ChatGPT an idea of what I'm doing and what I need, what I need from ChatGPT. So I'm going to use the following prompt. Okay, the prompt I used is, I said, I am a data entry virtual assistant. I need a sample data set to practice my Excel skills. Please generate a sample data set with these columns. Property address, state, county, homeowner name, accent price, and status. And then I said, please generate the data set in a tabular format. And the status column should be either in foreclosure or pre-foreclosure or sold. The data I'm looking for is something that if you work for a real estate agent or real estate investor, it is going to be something similar that you are going to be doing for them. You are going to be dealing with property addresses, homeowner names. A lot of these things are what you are going to be dealing with if you work for a real estate agent or investor. Okay, great. You can see now ChatGPT generate an Excel table for us. The Excel table has property addresses, state, county, homeowner name, accent price, and the status of the property. And this is the information that I give ChatGPT. If I want more columns, I can simply add more columns and ChatGPT is going to generate with more columns. If I want more row, for example, if I want 100 data sets, then I can simply say I want 100 data sets or 100 rows and ChatGPT is simply going to generate it. But for now, this data is something we can work with to start practicing our Excel skills. Okay, next I said, can you provide a download link to download the data in a CVS file and ChatGPT provided this download link. Now I'm going to click download and we can see if the data is going to be downloaded. And see, the data file has been downloaded in a CVS format. Now I can simply double click to open it. And now we can start working with this data to practice our Excel skills to make it attractive and to make it something that will be good for our portfolio. And right now we have like only 10 rows, we have only 10 rows of data. So we can simply highlight, Control C to copy everything. And we come to here and control B to paste it. Come here, control B again. So that we can have a little more data to work with. Control C and control B. Okay, great. Now we have enough data to work with. And another way also to fix this is we can come back to chat GPT and we can write another prompt. And we can say, can you make it into 100 rows? Let me write the prompt and we can see what ChatGPT is going to provide. Okay, great. Now you see ChatGPT simply provide a download link for 100 rows of sample data. And I can close this one. No need to save. And I can download the updated one. Okay, let's double click and see the updated one. 
Okay, great. Now we have 100 rows of data. So you see, this is how easy it is to generate sample Excel data in ChatGPT to practice your Excel skills and also to create a sample work that you can add in your portfolio and you can even send a link to your potential client. Now we can get to work and pick this sample data to create something attractive. And the first thing we will do is I'm going to highlight or I'm simply going to click anywhere within this table and I'm going to click Control T so that we transform it into a table and make sure this is checked. My table has headers because we have a header and I click OK. Now you see we have a nice table and I can change the style of the table from the top here. When I choose a drop down, I can choose something like this maybe. Yeah, this looks better. Or I can drag. Okay, now we have a nice data table that we can work with. We have property address, state, county, homeowner name, accent price, and state. Okay, the next thing we might want to do is we, we might want to press this header so that when we scroll, the header will remain at the top of the page. And we can do that by coming to the view tab right here. And we can come to press fence. We click the drop down and we choose press top row. When we click on it, now the top row is freezed. When we scroll, you see the header will remain at the top. And the next thing we might want to do is, since this is money, accent price is a price, we might want to change it into money. And we can simply select the entire column and we can come to back to the home tab. And we can change it from general to money. And we can reduce two zeros. And we can even make it bold so that it stand out a little more. Okay, next we can format the cells in the status column to make them even more attractive. And we can do that by selecting the entire cell by the entire column. And then we come to conditional formatting and we choose highlight cells rule. And we can choose equal to. And since all the cells under status are either pre closure or sold or in foreclosure. And we can choose to highlight each cell, each cell that contains sold. And we can do that by writing sold here. Right. We leave it as light red and we can click OK. Now you see all the cells that are sold are highlighted in red. So we know all the cells that are highlighted in, in red the properties are already sold and we can even highlight the other cells with different colors. We can select again and come to conditional formatting and we can come to equal to. And we can change the color to yellow. So now each cell that is in pre closure is going to be yellow. We click OK. You see now it's a lot more attractive. And the last one is in foreclosure. So we can select it again. We come to conditional formatting. Highlight cell rules equal to. And we choose we write in foreclosure. And we change the color to something like this. And we click OK. So now you see we have a lot more visually attractive table. Each cell that is in free foreclosure is highlighted in yellow. The ones that are sold in this light red and the one in foreclosure in this green. And we can add filters by selecting here and we can choose to display only cells that are sold. We click OK. Now we can see only the properties that are sold. We can get back here and we choose only the ones in foreclosure, we click OK and we see only the ones that are in foreclosure and we can click again to select all. And we will see all the cells, all the rows in this table. So this is the basics of how you can get sample data from ChatGPT 
and you can use it to create a sample work that you can share with your potential client and you can even add it to your portfolio and i suggest you practice and practice and sharpen your skills and make the data as attractive as possible so that it will be good it will be attractive to add it in your portfolio and even if you send this pile to your potential client it will be good it will be attractive and when you finish and you are happy with the sample that you created you can simply take a screenshot i don't know if all windows have this feature but i believe from windows 10 to 11 if you click windows and then shift and then s you can take a screenshot of any page you are on and you can simply highlight and take a screenshot and when you take this screenshot you can go to Canva and you can add it to your portfolio or you can add a collection in Canva and make something very nice so this is how you find sample data you, ex you uh, export it in Excel you customize make changes and create attractive sample if you want to learn more about data entry virtual assistance you can watch this next video if you find the video helpful, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I will see you in the next one.